Hi, I'm Tracy Tackett with Seattle Public Utilities. I lead our green stormwater infrastructure program. As far as innovations and, and the public utility, I have two major themes that I want to talk about how our projects fall in. Um, one is about integration and the other is partnering. Um, with respect to integration, uh, I think the way we've been able to really get a lot of support for our projects is integrating mostly transportation goals into our stormwater goals. We have about a third of our city that um, has unimproved right-of-ways, needs sidewalk improvements, it also needs drainage improvements, but um, it's, it's informal, it doesn't have curb and gutter areas. And so to integrate in um, citizens' requests for sidewalks and the transportation needs for moving the hick um, vehicles and traffic um, in with our stormwater goals has been um, really successful for us in moving forward our stormwater management goals. Um, our most uh, highly publicized project is the C Street project, which was our first uh, attempt at this integration, and that was about a decade ago. Um, we've since moved on into other areas of integration. Um, we have one program that's called our street sweeping program, or, and it was kind of shifting resources around, our transportation did do street sweeping, sorry, street sweeping, but um, to move where they're focusing those efforts into our watersheds that have the most water quality um, pollutant load from vehicular traffic areas, which is about a quarter of our city. Um, I think that, um, you know, shifting resources to meet multiple demands um, is, a, is a really great way to um, get some cost efficiency. And the third uh, category in that um, uh, uh, integration is working, now we're spending a lot of time focusing on integrating our um, bike commuting goals, um, our neighborhood greenways, which is bike corridors throughout the city in with our stormwater management, actually our combined sewer overflow reduction goals. So as we look for siting for our projects, we are um, figuring out where we should prioritize based off of meeting both of those goals. The next major theme within um, all of our projects is partnering. Um, so we've done partnering projects big scale, like our capital improvement projects. Um, the most exciting one um, is a two full city blocks getting redeveloped that are, um, it's called the Swale on Yale project where we're integrating in with the developer's street improvement requirement um, to reallocate the million dollars that they'd be spending on that uh, with our project in creating a large um, urban biofiltration swale system. And uh, that project will be very cool. It's worked in a lot of urban design elements. Um, so meeting the developer's goal and our stormwater goal, treating uh, roughly 300 acres of the watershed coming through that part of the neighborhood. Um, a part about partnering, a financial partnering particularly, um, is uh, important to, to know getting into it that you have to be really flexible about timing. Because when you're partnering on someone else's schedule, your dollars move from year to year. Um, you know, you're not in charge of the schedule, you're not in charge of the deliverable. So having um, flexibility with your annual budget and not being locked in um, has been the hardest, side, hardest part from the municipal side. Um, same with our High Point project, which was partnering with our housing department on a redevelopment. Um, we had to work with their schedule, not when we had money available in the budget. And so um, it's an innovation and needed. It's just not the way our rate structure usually works. Um, the other major part of partnering is requirements for new development. And the, um, the thing that we're doing most of um, it is through our stormwater code policies and in 2009 we adopted a requirement to use green stormwater infrastructure to the maximum extent feasible. That really pushes, um, pushes the, the implementation of green infrastructure within the city much farther. You know, there's only so many projects my program can lead and having developers do it as well means that we'll get a lot more projects in the ground and we're seeing the, the benefits of that. Um, also within the requirement zone is um, uh, we have a green factor requirement, which I think is a very neat integration of multiple city goals, uh, which is, um, it's a landscaping requirement, but it includes a lot of the stormwater best management practices about permeable pavement and bioretention and green roofs. And so it's a synergy between um, two different city departments' goals and making that happen. And the last on the uh, partnering list is really working with private property owners that aren't redeveloping. And our program, um, and I, I think several other places have programs like this as well of offering rebates to homeowners who are proactively retrofitting their, um, their space, um, their, you know, their yards, mitigating their roof area. And so we're funding 90 to 100% of the cost of 
um, doing that work for the homeowners um, and working through that. And finally, one of the biggest parts um, of Seattle Public Utilities being able to do a lot of innovation is the support of our management to take some risks. Um, we'll never know all the information about a new technology, and so you have to learn as you move through it. So we're willing to take some risks, and we're willing to adaptively manage our program, and um, the combination of that support from my management and the motivation from the team to do the best that we can and, and putting great projects is really what seems to make our projects successful. Thank you.